Change is a board game that we have been working on for the last few months uh, with a business management consultant, um, Mark Butcher. We've been looking at this idea of change and how to facilitate change and how people find it difficult or organisations or, or communities find it difficult to change um, and prepare for change. And this is one of the things that Marx kind of specialises in um, and we kind of teamed up with him to kind of design a board game that combines um, the myths of Orkney uh, and this kind of future world that we created in this uh, board game where the aim of the board game is to get from your home island to these other islands to pick up tools that help to facilitate uh, conversations around change. And it's, it comes out quite a, a long trajectory which you can see going through the whole show, um, which has been looking at kind of other worlds or how we can live in society in a different way through things like the Dream Cloud, which is a very early piece of work that I made when, uh, well, we made when I was first in Orkney 15 years ago which is a film of me um, harnessed to a helium-filled cloud. So trying to kind of access another world through a kind of ridiculous um, scenario. So, I suppose, so going from a very early piece of work to, to uh, Orcadia, there's a similar strategy employed that you, that, that, you know, with now with a group of people, that they're able to kind of project themselves into another, another way of being or another world. So um, what you have to do is, is move in any direction off the island onto one of the inter intersection circles and um, uh, yeah, there's different things you get on each circle, like the one I've landed on here means you can exchange tokens that you collect from the other islands. Um, there's other things that like when you're, when you're arriving onto an island, so you want to get to these islands to collect these tokens, a bit of your island will come off like that. So the, the aim is for each, you know, it's a, it's a um, cooperative game, so you're playing as a team, um, which is you know, unusual in board games, usually it's oppositional. So as the game, as you play the game, you realise you, you have to work together. It's, sometimes it's difficult to, to voice your fears or concerns directly to somebody and through using metaphors around a journey like this that it allows people to discuss things at a kind of distance and it allows potentially all sides to come together and see what is the best way forward. And through playing this game and facilitated conversations around the game, the organisation or the people in the organisation can think of other ways of approaching change as a positive thing rather than something to avoid or fear.